Hello folks, this is Sula speaking. You're listening to a commentary video on League of Legends with this one featuring Annie. At the end of the previous video, we won a team fight against the enemy team. We actually aced them and that allowed us to grab an early Baron and put us a significant way ahead of the other team. Now that we have the Baron, our goal is to try and force some kind of a team fight because we have a major advantage as long as the Baron is up and uh, we should ideally be able to beat them in any kind of team fight. Um, as long as we're not in some sort of like disastrously disadvantageous situation. We were going to wait for Ape to join up with us. Ape was farming, just getting in a little extra farm in the bottom lane, and then we decided we're going to try to push a fight. And there, once again, I'm just going to pop off uh, Amumu's uh, Banshee's Veil. Now here comes the other enemy team. Looks like they're going to try to fight, so I am going to um, drop Tibbers right in the middle of them and try to focus. I'm trying to hit Tarek, but um, their tanks are doing a good job of starting staying in the front. I'm going to back off and force the enemy team to come after me, and they're doing a good job of focusing me, but but the thing is, if the enemy team focuses me, they're not focusing the rest of our team. Um, Donsky gets off a very nice Nunu ult right in the middle of the enemy team, and we're going to be able to score four kills there. Uh, the only one who's still alive on their team is Tarek. We're able to take out everyone else on their team. And there comes the Fortify. We're just going to ignore that and wait for it to... Uh, wait for it to uh, go away and then we're going to finish taking down the tower so there's one kill and now we're going to go for the next tower you can see there's still i checked the screen to see there's still 20 seconds left now we're going to be able to get this tower as well with uh donsky tanking it for us except that they use their second fortify yes they actually brought two fortifies on the enemy team which was kind of interesting uh, made me think that they were perhaps doing some kind of uh, strategy from the European servers where they like to use teleport and fortify more often than uh, on the US servers. But in any case, uh, they do prevent us from taking that tower by having double fortify, but now their skills will be on cooldown for five minutes each uh, until the next time they come up. And uh, I'm going to come up here to the top lane. So that went well for us. Four kills. We took. We, we score four kills to one. Um, we took out another tower. Their middle lane tower has taken a lot of damage. It's, we, we did about two-thirds of the damage to it. And uh, our extra, we're going to be that much further ahead in terms of experience and gold. And I'm just going to come up here and farm the top lane. And that last team fight, I thought I did a good job. I was trying to target Tarek first um, and not their tanks. And then when Pantheon ulted in, I immediately switched to targeting him and just kept popping off my spells as soon as they came off cooldown. They did the right thing by trying to focus me. I am definitely the number one priority for the enemy team to target. But and uh, So to their credit, they did manage to kill me. The only downside was by going after me... Um, they didn't weren't able to hit anyone else on our team, and the rest of our team wrecked them. Uh, especially Warlord and Ape, who by this point in time, as Xin Zhao and, and uh, Yi, Master Yi, are starting to become pretty powerful. Uh, pretty much we just want Donsky and myself to hold them in place with our ultimates, and then let our melee damage per second characters just do tons and tons of damage using their respective skills. Uh, I mean, like a well-fed Master Yi... Uh, can do an incredible amount of damage when he pops off his ultimate Highlander. Uh, the problem with Master Yi is uh, he's incredibly easy to stun and then kill to prevent him from doing that damage. Just, if Master Yi actually gets a chance to attack, he will destroy just about anybody in the game. He's very much like Twitch in that regard. Okay, anyway, uh, because the lanes are pushed forward and Dragon just came up, we're going to grab Dragon. I think that's our third third Dragon. It's either the third or fourth. And so that's just going to help put us a little bit further ahead. Uh, here as I cycle through my spells again to get closer to Annie's stun. Uh, always something you want to keep in mind. Always something you need to need to be uh, thinking about. There's Katarina. We were hoping to hoping to maybe pick her off. Um, not going to be able to do that. She's going to use her Shumpo to dance away. Um, and then Mookie's going to jump down there to charge up the Mordekaiser shield a little bit. I think that's what he's doing. Here we actually had a request on voice chat. They said, uh, they said, Sula, run around like an idiot. See if you can get them to chase you. See if you can just get somebody to uh, follow you. Uh, and uh, we apparently we weren't able to do that, though, because Mookie comes out. And uh, with Mookie coming forward, that's not going to happen. But uh, anyway, we're going to come forward. Amumu uses his ultimate. Now, the clear target here is Katarina. So I'm going to stun her. That's going to interrupt her Death Lotus ultimate. And... Uh, Dante gets off a nice ult right in the middle of the enemy team. Pantheon jumps into the middle of us, but it's too late. We're gonna we're gonna uh, all gang up and destroy him. And then here is where having teleport is a nice uh, skill to have because Tark is trying to backdoor us, and we were well aware of that the whole time. Uh, we were watching him on the mini map, and so I had just said, "Hey guys, let's force a team fight." And as soon as it's over, I'm gonna jump up there and I'm gonna fight Tark. Now because of Tark's um, because of Tark's uh, healing skills, I'm not gonna be able to kill him here. Um, but he's not going to be able to kill me either while we're fighting next to the tower. 
And uh, in fact, he's popping off so many heals, he would in fact run out of mana. But if you notice there, he actually just popped Clarity. He took Summoner Clarity as a skill. So um, that's the only reason why he's able to continue staying up here. But let's face it, he's not going to kill me. He's not going to get this tower. Uh, in, like in order to hit me, he has to take Tower Fire. So like right, right there, once again, he stuns me. But he's taking so much Tower Fire. He's burning through his ult. He's about to run out of mana. Um, yeah, I mean, he, he already got back all his mana with Clarity. Um, but he's not going to be able to kill me. He's not going to be able to get that tower. Anyway, we got the bottom lane tower. We got the uh, second level tower. And then we got the uh, base tower. And then we were able to get the inhibitor. Uh, and then the other enemy team revived. And they were able to kill Warlord. Uh, not 100% sure exactly what happened. Wasn't watching there. Had to focus on dealing with uh, this Tarek player. But we uh, we were able to get our objectives, and we took one death, which uh, obviously we'd like to avoid that, but no big deal. We came out clearly ahead there. Tark is in those bushes. I know he's there. Um, I'm pretty sure that he's recalling back to base at this point. Um, pretty sure of that. And there I miss out on a minion. Um, pretty poor. Should have just waited for Annie's uh, disintegrate. Uh, dis disintegrate skill to come back up. And now I'm going to check, and yep, he's gone back to base. Um, I mean, I suppose I could have fought him, but... Um, I didn't see any re neat reason to take that chance, so I just let him recall back to base. I actually uh, went back to heal earlier and didn't even have a chance to buy because I was focused on pushing back that minion wave. So now I am able to go back to base. And what am I going to buy here? Uh, oh, I purchased Tear of the Goddess. Um, that's I think that's a mistake. I think that that was a poor buy. It, it's it's too late in the game for Tear to mean much. I should have bought something else. I should have just bought a Blasting Wand or, or something like that. Something that adds straight ability power. I did buy the uh, Elixir of Brilliance, the blue pot, which is going to add to my... It's going to um, give me cooldown reduction and extra ability power when I drink it. Um, that is a good buy. Um, but I think it was a I think it was a definite mistake um, to go for tier. It's just too late for that to be useful. Anyway, up here we caught a Mumu out of position, running around. Uh, he actually burned his ultimate, so that's a misplay. And then I get in a, a stun with Annie, um, and so we've managed to take him down pretty easily. Now Katarina's there, but with the Mumu being down, um, the thing we want to do is force a Baron fight. Uh, any Baron fight right now is going to be 4 versus 5, so we should be able to win that. Um, we're keeping an eye on the enemy team and waiting to see if they're going to come out and challenge us. Um, I'll, uh, you know, I can always uh, ult them with Tibbers if they come up, um, but the enemy team isn't even showing up, so we score an uncontested Baron. Either they weren't aware of what we were doing, or they just realized they couldn't contest it. Uh, given Tark's positioning, though, I'm going to assume that they didn't know what we were doing, because Tark is way out of position, and uh, we're going to tower dive him, which is uh, very aggressive, but with five of us together, we can tower dive with ease and get away with it. And now from here, we're just going to start pushing straight down this bottom lane. We're going to force them to force them to either fight us or um, or just push into their base. You can see we have the Tarek Ghost to tank for us, and there's the Fortify. Uh, it's come back up, but uh, it's going to be wasted shooting at. Um, it's going to be wasted shooting at that Ghost. In the meantime, we're just going to continue attacking and get this tower. There's the second Fortify. Use it again. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to keep fighting the enemy team. Again, focuses our Katarina and Pantheon. We're actually not focusing Cat for some reason, um, but Donsky gets off a nice ult. I was focusing Pantheon in that fight, um, taking Tower Fire all the while. And now here we're going to come in. I get in my stun on Amumu, so he's not going to get away. And we just rolled over that team yeah, completely. And right there, I must have been just a step in front of the minions because the tower focuses me. And so we score another ace, and we're going to roll over the first this tower. Next, we're going to roll over the uh, the inhibitor here. Our minions have just taken out the inhib the tower in middle lane, so we're going to switch over here. We're going to grab this inhibitor. We probably don't need to, but better safe than sorry. Once you get all three inhibs down, the game is usually over. Tarek's now back up. Um... So I'm going to harass him briefly. Uh, I don't really care too much about Tarek, though. Once we push down the two Nexus turrets, the game's going to be over. Uh, we'll just continue harassing him. Uh, nice pop-up in the air by Ape using Xinjiao skills. And as soon as he gets... Uh, the Tarek's not able to get out of there. And with our gazillion super minions, we're going to push into the base. And uh, Katarina's ult down there doesn't matter. Wow. So we just roll over the team there at the end of the game. Well done. Well played. What that does show is, again, you can't give up three or four dragons and two barons to the other team. It's just going to put them too far ahead. Anyway, one thing I'll mention, first of all, is thanks to Mookie for this screenshot. 
the game actually crashed on me. The client crashed on me, so I couldn't take a screenshot of the final result. So Mookie sent this to me, which is why I didn't suddenly leap up to 1,100 games played of League of Legends. Here are the final stats. Uh, good game for Annie. I was very happy with how I played here. I got that first blood, which I thought was pretty well done. I farmed decently, farmed poorly at times, but farmed well enough, and was able to finish 5 to 20 A lot of assists there. Didn't get too many kills at the end of the game, but I was able to set up the rest of the team for stuns at the end. Mookie, uh, perfect tank for us. Force of Nature, Abyssal Scepter, Sunfire Capes, never threatened, never came close to being killed. Uh, Crush the crush the soul lane against Katarina. Just very well played. Donsky, great jungling. Some very nice Nunu ults. For whatever reason, their team never tried to interrupt the Nunu ult. They could have done that with a Pantheon stun and a Mumu bandage toss, a Tarek stun. Uh, never never did that for whatever reason. And so those Nunu X ults really wrecked the enemy team. And then Warlord and Ape, after struggling in that initial lane, they were able to get farmed up and they were able to dominate in late game. And they were the ones actually getting most of the kills at the end of the game as the rest of us were able to hold them in place. So anyway, I think the key play in that game really was the lane swap that we did, switching Ape up into the, t or not Ape, excuse me, switching Warlord up into the top lane so that he could get experience and so that he could farm. And then when Mookie came down, at, Mookie and Donsky came down and ganked the bottom lane and we were able to take out that tower. I really think that was the turning point in the game because we had been getting beat badly in the bottom lane before that. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. See you later.